I've even uh, done some business with you or uh, sold sold or traded you some pieces somewhere here and there. And uh, thank you so much for your uh, your guys' likes and support. Um, and I hope to uh, bring out some cool stuff later on in the future. I'm still painting. A um, little slow down here because, uh, like I said, we're getting ready to move. But um, I still got to paint up the things for, uh, for the contest, like I mentioned, for the BBR in St. Louis. But besides that... I'm going to be painting up more and more and uh, hopefully miscellaneous things for people as well. And I uh, just, I really like it, but that's kind of my backstory is I got into it as a hobby to supplement for hunting and uh, I like the strategic games and I uh, really got into it. Um, hmm. What else to talk about uh, real quick? You know, I'm trying not to make this a long video, maybe keep it under like 15 minutes. Um, again, uh, for people coming into V... You know, I know, Global 36, again, I'm not the expert because I'm still brand new to this and I don't even know the rules all the way on quite yet. I've been listening to uh, General Hand Grenades videos, trying to get a basis on how to play. But um, as you can see, I've seen already some people question up uh, what I did and what he advises is use colored chips. You can get like 50 of one color for two bucks or, you know, what he whatever he said, like on historical board gaming for like you know, a buck or two, and you just put them underneath people, like, like here, you know, I got brown chips underneath guys for mountain infantry, and, uh, over here I have a white underneath the sub for coastal subs, and pinks underneath infantry for motorized infantry, and the whole nine yards, you can do whatever colors you want. Uh, whenever I play BBR, uh, Moose Cow already took to this, this adaptation as well, as, uh, I put a purple chip underneath a a strategic bomber to signify it's an air transport you know as opposed to having to buy wooden roundels and the stickers and put the air transport on it just use a purple chip underneath the strategic bomber and works just as well of course i have the um i have the historical board gaming's metal uh the metalized uh flight stands here which uh, fit perfectly into a chip so you can just you know set a strategic bomber down in it uh but yeah, I mean, people I love. Another thing I like about this, especially painting and the pa on the painting side of it, is no two people have the exact same style, and I love that. It's like my style is different from Detroit style. It's different from Sire Blood style. It's different from Dean's Army guy's style. It's different from another guy I know named Tom. His style. It's you know everyone has a different style, and that's cool and unique. And uh, you know what you might look at my pieces and be like yeah i don't know about that i would have done it this way well that's 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 cool that's great um i advise people to get into painting it is kind of expensive and i it's, it's taken me a long time to get up my paint collection like a long time two years like i said and that's going from hobby towns and stores to left and right spray paints and the whole nine yards everyone has a different system of how they do it i like to you know you know kind of do a semi line paint one layer after another after another and then when you're done, um, wash it with a, like a black or a brown and then uh, dry brush it with like a white or a light gray, you know. And then at the end of it, I have a matte. I use matte clear. Some people like satin clear. Some people like gloss clear. It just it varies. So uh, painting's a whole nother side of it, but I thoroughly enjoy it and I love how everyone has their own style. Um, for me personally, how I got started is I, I watched uh, Sire Bloods. And he does, he tries to get like as historically accurate as possible on his paint styles. As well as I also looked at uh, Wolfden Designs. Uh, he's got some great stuff too. And I look at his styles. Um, I don't like to be verbatim because like Sire Blood said a few times, if I remember right, quoting a couple of his videos, it's like not everyone can be green because everyone had green-ish camo. So you kind of have to change a little bit of a flare up in there. And you have to change it around, you know. And then uh, the way I got around that is I try to make them as historically accurate as possible. But on the flip side of that, I painted their bases the color of their nation or, you know, most representate of their nation. So, like, case in point, I gave the um, Chinese nationalists here, I gave them kind of like a, uh, a dark Admiral Blue. Kind of hard to see. I'll see if I can zoom in there. Dark Admiral Blue-like. And Communist China, like a dark red, like a burnt red. And then over here with, uh, obviously with France, they got kind of a blue on their base. Italy has a, a brown. 
the, the Germans have a gray, a dark gray. Uh, the U.S. over there, they have like a, you know, a bright green to signify, you know, obviously you think green U.S. So, you know, everyone has their own style, but um, that's kind of my story. Uh, again, I've never done one of these videos, and I figured it's high time I, I do because I have a lot of videos. I just uh, don't, no one's ever really seen my face too much in any of them. Uh, to my guys over in my company that basically, you know, I, uh, in my company over there in the army, I had people, I had guys come over almost every other weekend, every weekend, and we played a version of Actus and Allies, and, you know, it kept me going, kept me into the, into the game, and thank you guys over there, and shout out to you guys if you're still out there, um, a few names, uh, Specialist, Specialist Gonzalez, uh, my man, uh, Walsh, Vega, Cloutier, uh, Rump, uh, great guys on my friends, if I know I'm missing people, uh, Bud, uh, I'm not going to try and say your name on the mic here, buddy, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, uh, you, uh, as well, you know, um, and then there was a gentleman down over there, um, uh, gentleman over there that we went over to his house all the time, Mr. Dusty, uh, shout out to him because he hosted our game a lot down, uh, in the Virginia Beach area. He hosted a game or hosted, you know, offered his house up a lot and I never really, I always thanked him and, uh, but, uh, here's a shout out on YouTube to you, uh, Mr. Dusty. Turner, thank you very much for uh, letting us come out and play and uh, making, you know, a couple years in the Army a lot funner uh, on the weekends sometimes. Gave us something to do. And uh, uh, Patrick and um, David as well out there. Uh, thank you guys. And, uh, you know, I miss playing with all you guys and uh, all my company guys. Um, uh, my brother, my brother Tyler down in Alabama. Shout out to you because he always likes to... He's not into it as much as I am, but he's uh, he's been my brother since I uh, first joined the Air Force back in the uh, 2012, 13, 2013. Um, so I was Air Force, then Army, and then now I'm back in the Air National Guard, so kind of back in the Air Force, so uh, back and forth. But I'm uh, going on a seven to eight years service now, so yeah, uh, seven no, be eight this year. Yep. <laughs> but you get the point. Um, so shout out all to my friends and my family. And, uh, again, my lovely wife who is even going to help me come up with a little bit of a brand and, uh, supports me. And when we get our own place or a bigger place, I guess I should say, uh, you know, she's even going to let me have a war room in one of the side bedrooms or the garage or something like that. So, uh, she really supports me and, uh, loves that I'm kind of into this hobby. Sometimes it annoys her, <laughs> but uh, other times, you know, she knows it's uh, it's fun. It takes my mind off a lot of things. So uh, shout out to all you guys and my family who uh, love and support me. Uh, this video is going on a little longer than I intended, and I've never done one of these. I know I do a lot of uhs. My wife tells me I do a lot of uhs and ums, so <laughs> I try not to, but, you know, it's just a nervous tick, especially if I'm on the... Uh, Fun on video. If you have any questions, comments, or you want to reach out to me again on the Axis and Allies page, you can find me under Ben Bertrand. Right now, I'm posting up several setup photos of Global 36. I've already had a few people commenting and messaging me and stuff like that. So if you guys want to talk to me, play a game on Tabletop Simulator, play a YouTube Wars game, play over the phone uh, game, play AAA, play you know any 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 form you can think of. I'm probably down to play it. Uh, just 